So I hope you are doing great. So our lesson for today is all about multiplying decimals. So before that, let's try to look at these vocabularies. Our vocabulary for today is decimal, decimal, to equivalent, equivalent, three, rename, rename, four, we have multiply, multiply, then five, we have product, product. So there are steps on how to multiply decimals. So step one, so we need to see the number from our right going to our left. So we multiply it first from our right going to our left. What is the first step on how to multiply decimal? Step two, we need to see how many numbers are there to know where would we put the point or the decimal sign itself. So that would be our step two. And then step three, we need to finalize our answer. So we have our first example. We have 2.7 times 4. 2.7 times 4. So always remember that we need to start multiplying from our right going to our left. So we have 7 times 4. That is equivalent to 28. So we put 8 down or in our answer. Then we carry 2. Then 4 times 2. That is equivalent to 8. Then we add the carried number. So 8 plus 2, that is equivalent to 10. So how many numbers are there in our decimal? There is only 1. So we put our point there or the decimal sign just before 8. So we count 1 only. So our answer would be 10.8. So we have our second example, 1.04 times 4. Again, 1.04 times 4. So we have to start multiplying from our right. So 4 times 4, that is equivalent to 16. So we put 6 into our answer. Then we carry 1. So 4 times 0, that is equivalent to 0. So we can just get the carried number and then put it into our answer. Then we have 4 times 1. So 4 times 1, that is equivalent to 4. So how many numbers are there in our decimal places? So there are 2. So we're going to count also into our answer. So we're going to count from our right. So one, two. So we need to put decimal point just after one. So our answer would be 4.16. Last we have 5.6 times eight. 5.6 times eight. So let's try to find the answer. So 8 times 6, that is equivalent to 48. So we need to put 8 into our answer and carry 4. Then we multiply 8 times 5, that is equivalent to 40. Then we add the carried number, which is 4. So 48 plus 4, that is equivalent to 44. So our answer would be 44.8. So in this topic, how to multiply decimals, always remember that we need to start from our right going to our left. 
how many numbers are there in our decimal places. Then we can just find it or we can just count it to know the answer. So thank you for today.